Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, I'm the man on the sticks. Ooh, stick man. And we're playing uh, Monster Hunter World. I got a Doc Brown piggy, Jonas. He has Doc Brown hair. Aw, and he's pink boy with white with, tail. He's got horns, too. You like the horns? He's cute. Aw, he is. He's good. Jonas, would you get a pet pig since you're a big liar and you want to get a cat? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's see. Would I get a pet pig? Yeah. No. No? Yeah. No, nah, dude. Fair enough. Would you get a pet cat? I'm not getting a cat, no. I, I mean, but I never deviate from that Would stance. Would you never say, you've never say I think about it? No, I never deviated from that stance. Uh, we are, by the way, we're fighting the new monster, Arc Tempered Namiel. Ooh. Yeah, Jonas, try saying that with a mouthful of uh, rocks. Mm. I put, you know me. There goes Jonas sucking on rocks again. <laughs> I had a cat, Jonas, when I lived in Cleveland in an apartment by myself with a $550 rent cap. Um, Dude, I had an apartment that was that cheap in Cleveland, you remember too. remember that? Those were the days. They had but a rent I, cap? Wait, what was that? Uh, either No, we're talking about the cat. So I had a cat. <laughs> it was, And his name was Shaft. He was oh, a, awesome. He was an all-black cat. And you know what happened? Aw. I t no, John. It's not a sad story. Okay. It's a good story. It's fine. Every everybody makes it out alive in this oh, story. Awesome. I okay. guarantee you. But uh, <clears throat> what? Ha oh, sweet. What happened was is that I asked one of my friends. She was like, "Oh yeah, my friend just has kittens," and I was like, "You know what? I've always kind of thought about getting a cat. You know, it'd be cool to have like a cat around the house." Just made that mistake, and she was like, "Oh, really?" And I was like, "Yeah." You know, I, I don't know if I really want one, but, you know, it'd be it'd be something to do. And on my birthday, this woman went and got me a whole cat. You know? Oh, you told, I think you told me the story. She got me a whole cat. I'm like, what am I going to do with a whole cat? Dude, what do you, you know do why with people that? living things? Like, here, what'd she get you for your birthday? Responsibility. For the rest of your existence <laughs> on this planet, for dude. For, like, ten years. For the rest of my flipping life, Were man. you mad at her? Because I would have been. I was, I mean, when it came down to it, man, the thing was adorable. And well, of course, right, and there's no one denying cats aren't adorable. <laughs> <laughs> cats are awesome. I love cats. So, like, <laughs> initial, my initial response was not one of absolute disgust. It was one of, like, well... It is adorable, and you know I don't necessarily know what I'm getting into. I was young. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, you know, this might this might work out. Jonas, it didn't work out. Why didn't it work out? Because it's a cat, dude. What's no, that mean? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <laughs> okay, go. All right, so the reason it didn't work out is because I worked night shift, and at this point in my life, I was uh. I was way more social than I am oh, now. Oh, so you work nights and then you're out like gallivanting yeah. with, with uh, hussies and friends. Whoa, hussies. I don't know. I just do that out These there. are affluent young ladies, Jonas. You were having fun with women and hanging out with, no. your, with, your, with your dudes. As no, in Jonas, it was Bible study. Oh, gotcha. Yes, I had Bible study every day. Right. So the cat got pissed and then started pissing in the house and doing other stuff, right? No, I mean, it was a kitten, so no, oh, it didn't okay. start doing that stuff. But it would, it did have this thing where it would, like, play with poop out of the litter box. <laughs> I did not like that, dude. Yeah, well, right? <laughs> it would just, like, like just bat it around, and I was like, oh, I should get it some toys or something. So I, like, got it a toy, and that apparently wasn't enough. Yeah, Can't you, got, just you get gotta get a lot of stuff for cats. I mean, and look, now that I'm an adult... And if I, I feel like if I were to get a cat now, I would get an adult cat. Oh yeah, I don't. I, w I would never get a kitten, dude. Yeah, I would get an adult cat. Something that doesn't need something that can be more like a cat is supposed to be. Right. Yeah. The, the first year of a cat's life, they're very needy. Yes. 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 Yeah. It is nice to have a cat that you get as a kitten, and it grows old with you. Because your cat knows you, and when it's an adult, it like it's already you already have that relationship Woo! with it. But uh, <laughs> but yes, getting an adult cat who already knows how to function as a cat and just constantly kind of wants to be left alone until it wants your attention, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. And then you know you don't have to have it as long too. So you get like a five year old Whoa. cat. It's already half. <laughs> it's already. <laughs> it's already <laughs> Why are you trying to get? It? <laughs> the thing is just once a forever home, and Jonas is like, I can't wait to get rid of this thing. <laughs> I'm going to get me the nine-year-old cat from the pound and be like, oh, 
<laughs> that year was fun. <laughs> that year was fun. You give it a forever home for <laughs> six. No, for half a Did second. Do they have like a cat hospice? Can I like bring like a cat hospice? Can I bring like for all the sick kitties? Can guys? I get like a cat that's like ill and like just have it give it a good home till it like passes on? So really, really, I at this point in my life, Jonas. I'm not going to say that I want a cat, but I would not mind if there were a cat in, in the house. And that's, we've had the discussion, that's kind of how I feel too. It's like, I like cats. I just like the responsibility and the litter box and the hair and all that. Like, it just, ugh. Every time I re like, okay. Mm. I'll think about it. I'm like, man, a cat would be great. And then like, I think more about it. And then I'm like, poop, pee, hair, cat food, <laughs> cat doing annoying things is not fun i don't like that and then i'm like no i don't need a cat then i'm like the cats are fun and i'm like no they're not i have this like internal struggle of like liking cats and then realizing they do cat things See, funny enough i don't really even contemplate the negative aspects of having the cat oh I, uh, like i don't even think about the poop and the pee i'm like oh well you know it's a slight inconvenience right, but right, right. i mean that's that's the nature of the responsibility so that doesn't really doesn't really uh affect my opinion I guess my, what it really affects my opinion for myself having a cat, yeah, like just saying, "Hey, this is my cat," yeah, is that I like to do other things with my time, and I feel like I'm not here as much as like I could be. So, like, I work twelve-hour shifts, yeah, and then I come home and then I sleep, <laughs> right, and then I basically so go four, to work four days a week. You're only here for like <laughs> five hours. Yes, and <laughs> even prior to that, I feel like four. I almost feel like if you have a full time job where where you have the uh, where you don't have the luxury of staying in the home, I feel like you know you kind of like that cat is losing out, and then at that point, I feel like somebody else is just looking after the cat. Yeah. Wow, you Jonas are in a unique position where I'm not you wouldn't. Work from home forever, dude. <laughs> I mean, you've been. Doing Why don't this. wait? Well, how about this? Why don't why don't we discuss? I don't want to say get. I'm not. We're not giving a joint cat. <laughs> so why don't we get a crazy town compound cat? We're not giving that is both of our cats, yeah, and not. then at the point where we no longer stay in the crazy town compound, we can make the decision to either adopt it to someone else, <laughs> or one of us can keep it. Okay. And then it's a co-owned cat. I'm not co-owning a cat with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. Me and my hetero roommate have a co-cat. <laughs> Everyone's not. like, yeah, I'm sure you're hetero. Yeah, that, <laughs> sound, that sounds real hetero. <laughs> the two straight dudes sharing a cat. <laughs> I've never shared. Oh, no, I was going to say something. Really yeah, fast. I've definitely shared a cat with another dude before. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're not doing that, I though. wasn't going to say it in that, that nice of terms, but that's where I was going. Funny enough, I'd be more apt to do that with you than actually share a cat with you. <laughs> <laughs> I would 100% <laughs> do the alternative. That's like, that's like, that's like a, a, a short event. The other one is a lifetime commitment. Basically. We're basically married if we get a cat together. <laughs> that's we the got way a cat. I see it! <laughs> ah! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, we had insurance on that one. <laughs> That's <Sweet>. good. <laughs> <laughs> Not co-owning a cat. <laughs> Not co-owning a cat, though. No. You just want my cat to have all. Are the, you freaking serious? To have like all the benefits of having a cat without having a cat. Um. I mean, look, man. It, when it comes <laughs> down to it, like. <laughs> I we would co-own the cat because the cat lives in the house. So right, I feel yeah. I'm yeah. gonna take you know like it's getting twenty to thirty percent of its pets from me. <laughs> you're like <laughs> I will make time to pet that. You cat. know, <laughs> if you're not here and you text me, hey dude, can you feed the cat? I'm not gonna be like you know this mother fricker never feeding your cat. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm gonna feed the freaking cat. How hard is it to put a scoop in a bag and drop some dry? Yeah, the bowl, right. If 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 you're like slacking on your pimping and and the and the the, uh, the toilet for the cat, please stop hitting me. And the in the uh, cat toilet, what do you call it? The litter box. <laughs> the litter box. The litter box starts to get a little funk. Yo, fam, I'm gonna take the litter box and we'll clean it out because I, I live here. I don't want the funk any more than anybody else does. So right. I'm gonna I'm gonna alleviate the funk. Right, right. Or if I go on vacation. Like you yeah, may, yeah, yeah, I got you. And a yeah. hey, hey, look, here, it's not like taking a dog here, out. Somebody's on vacation. And even more of a kicker, Jonas. If you was like, hey, yo, I need to borrow 
of five hundred dollars to help my cat because it might die. <laughs> wow! I am going to give you it with a with a the friend line of credit, Jonas, <laughs> which means that <laughs> you'll help me save my dying cat on credit. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna pay me back. <laughs> we're not we're not doing that now. But <laughs> I wouldn't even charge you interest immediately, uh, and I, I mean, feel. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like that's great, dude. That's very kind of you, sir. Like, if anything, it's like the preferred cat owner's program that you're a part of just by owning a cat in the same vicinity as me. Yeah, I got you. So you'd be like, here's 500 bucks to save your cat's life. You have two weeks to pay it off. If not, it doubles to Oh, my God. No. <laughs> it's not like that. Is, I'm, I'm not <laughs> that. Now you don't have it after that. I'll break your leg. I'm not that litigious with the money, man. Oh man, this is gonna not hurt at all. We well, make a nice, a nice, uh, a nice uh, environment for the cat, the pseudo cat. Of course. I mean, you gotta get it first, man. Yeah, dude. I. Uh, but I mean, you know, the country's open back up, so. Safe, yeah, dude. Safe as of, as of yesterday, man, back to normal. I almost went to the club last night. Did you? Yeah, dude. I was like, Good might enough. as well go out to the bar, right? It's open. There's not the coronavirus is over. <laughs> it's over. Yeah, they decided it was over. So you know, you know the funny thing that I didn't realize is that people decide when a virus is over. Yeah, and man. You, you know, well, it's it it was spreading like wildfire. Its cases are still going up. We go outside, it goes away. It's scared of us. <clears throat> it's enough of it, man. We've had enough. We've yeah, had it up to here, so now it's yeah. done. Yep, because, yeah, as, as all the other pandemics in history, the people living in the world decided when they stopped. I've never been here. So this guy right here, Jones, let me just tell you. This is the guy that tells you about your weapon. Oh. Oh, wait. wait I didn't read what he said, but he tells me <laughs> that my weapon is the least used in the game, and then he gives me an item for it. Oh, because you use a crap weapon? Yeah, and if you use, like, one of the most used weapons in the game, then he's like, yo, fam, I sleep. He takes away some of your money? <laughs> no. He's like, what's your best item? Mine. Most used weapon in the game, Jonas, is the longsword, I believe. Is it like Cloud from Final Fantasy VII? It is. It's kind of more like Seth Sephiroth, if anything. Oh, wow. He just climbed through a webbing. Are you the only man trying to kill this uh, one? I mean, I'm the only one here right now, but that's not, you know, that's no fault that of anybody's big. but mine. But yeah, <laughs> dude, so, I mean, as someone with medical knowledge, tell everyone about how uh, sorry, how, how the humans decide when viruses are over. Wait, what? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the world has decided it's over, so why don't you explain know. how that works? Hey, look, man, <laughs> there's people way smarter than me making the decisions that drive this country, so I don't, I don't know anything they all about have medical degrees, so. I, look, man, <laughs> I'm not the guy, all right? I just wanted to know because, I, I mean, I didn't think you could just it, have the virus, and we did. It sounds like you're trying to corner me into a political conversation. No, all this, I want to know is how we, I mean, how we got rid of the virus. <laughs> it's Sounds to me like a trap, and I'm not falling for Dude, it. Dude, I love trap houses. I'm not falling for it. <coughs> you I set love. me up in traps all the time. I do, but you, <laughs> you go for it. I Dude, will not. I just, I just play gay. I'm like, sure, dude, I'll play along. Sure, I hate all the minorities. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, I'm allowed to say it, one. I think. Never said that one. <laughs> there that was, was not one that will ever come out of my mouth in any way, shape, or form. No, that's how you just play along, dude, because I always accuse you of being racist. Yeah, so sooner or later, I'll just be like, you know what? <laughs> That'd be a great sound bite to have on the... On the <laughs> Jesus. It's all right, Jonas. Every oh. you you got an inward pass, Jonas. I don't want to use it. You got it. one. Well, I'm glad I have one, but I, it'll be it'll be in my back pocket forever. If you really think about it, Jonas. Yeah. Don't we all have one? Do Ooh. we? <laughs> Do <laughs> don't we all have a pass? I don't think so. Uh, I I tell you right now, you go somewhere and you use it, Jonas. And if they have a problem, you t you tell them to come and see me. I just say, hey, hold on. Before you get mad at me, call my roommate. <laughs> Before you <laughs> get mad. My roommate's black. You call him. He told me it was okay. You, I'll call him right now. We'll video chat with him, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it works. I, I bet it would. I, try. I, you I, don't know I'm until good. you tried it. I'm, I'm all right. No! <laughs> I made it. If that situation <laughs> ever comes up, I'll make sure I video chat you and you'll be sleeping and not answer and I'll die. So it'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I, I mean, if you haven't tried it, you don't know. I'm good, dude. I, 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 there's certain things <laughs> in life I don't want to experience, good. and that's one of them. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, you know. I respect, I respect people, so, you know. Fair enough. Oh, fair man. Fair enough. If you want to be respectful. <laughs> yeah, if you don't want to... <laughs> If you don't want to uh, <laughs> offend entire races of people. And not explore the human language. <laughs> How do you know you won't like it? Maybe you'll love hurting races. <laughs> I'm telling you, John, it is so spicy once it's in your mouth. <laughs> once you it, start oh offending entire cultures of people, Dude. you don't know you haven't lived. It's a spicy word. <laughs> It's got some bite to yeah, it, dude. dude it's, it's, like, like, it's like the habanero of whoo. English language. Ghost pepper. It's like Frank's Red Hot. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, look, that's not my fault. All right? I know I woke him up, but I was already in the midst of that clutch, that clutch claw. Yeah, dude, you got that clutch claw. God. This boy is big. Yeah, he's he's so this is have you beat him before this I'm, uh, yes oh, okay i beat him on stream oh gotcha so if you would come and watch the streams you can see me beat him the 17 times i've beat him prior to this have you taken any of your streams and put them on the channel so people can watch you read them? no jonas because i don't i mean like it's, it's streaming is so different because you piece of crap oh because you get all of it even the boring walking around stuff not even the boring walking around stuff, but you get the moments where I'm like, hey, I'm going to go take a piss. <laughs> and then the, stream, the screen is just sitting there for, and, uh, you know, contrary to popular belief, Jonas, I'm not the most popular streamer on Twitch. I know. I Wait, know. Wait, so, like, what, what, do your, what do your thousands of stream watchers do when you get up and walk away for, like, My 10 minutes? My thousands of stream watchers. <laughs> You mean the nobodies? <laughs> Is that what you call your stream watchers? The nobodies? <laughs> yes, TNT Dynamite's nobodies. <laughs> because they don't exist. No, they're, they're in got spirit, nobody. dude. They, they got nobodies. <laughs> they're, they're, they're in spirit. Dude. I've had a couple followers, but like that's yeah. about it. Yeah. Like new ones? Like yes, human beings. No, like follow. since like you've had that account a long time. Like you, yeah, you're, rec you're, recent ones, yeah. But uh, nobody like stays in the stream, and nobody like talks in the chat right now. And I mean, it's you know, it's fine, dude. I'm small time, but I I, I feel like if I stick to my guns and I keep showing up every day, Jonas, I've had more and more people come in and just like. Pop in for five minutes. Yeah, yeah. And I try to like, I'm trying to like do more. <laughs> As effed up as it sounds, I'm trying to do like more clickbaity like uh, titles to my stream. Like, like I'll be watch like, "Watch me kill." <laughs> I'll be like, "Like rape my hamster play" when I'm playing Overwatch or something, just to try to get people to be like, "Oh, let's see if this guy's any good at hamster." Oh, I got you. <laughs> and then like I'll immediately like feed as soon as I like the first m match starts up. I'll just immediately feed, and then they'll leave. And I'm like, "Oh, uh, I guess I suck." So like. Do you have on your headset, and then when yeah. people come in, you start talking? Um, yeah, sometimes because like most of the time, I'm just sitting there, just chilling, doing your own thing. Yeah, yeah, I do talk. Um, definitely, definitely talk to myself in there a lot. Yeah, so that's one thing. I mean, but don't you talk to yourself in there when you're not on stream? <laughs> I, mean, I, I do that. I'm always talking to myself. Really? No, I do not make a habit of talking no, to I, myself. No, I'm not. You are not joking about yourself. I, feel I, like, I do I feel talk to myself, but not like it, I don't have conversations with myself. Oh, yeah, I, I, like, yeah, okay. Well, hey, yeah. Jonas, what up? Oh, dude, it's been a great day. I definitely because I'm the only one in my chat because I'm a mod. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been there since day one yeah, myself. Dude, you, you, uh, you <coughs> a headliner. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's uh, how how do you like it? Oh, um, it's fine, dude. I mean, because you're like you're in there. You're like I'm in here anyways, playing. What's yeah. It? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm cool with it. Essentially, I'm looking for somebody who knows more about uh, the games than I do to come in and tell me I'm doing everything wrong and correctify my mistakes. But why wouldn't they just be playing? Why would they be? They do play. <laughs> oh, you want like a, a master to come in and make him make you his protege? Wait, what? <laughs> I'm not looking for like a relationship here. <laughs> you want a mentor, <laughs> um, an over an Overwatch mentor? Oh, you jerk offs, dude! You guys, ah, oh, they were fighting over its face. No, I don't want a master to make me his protege, but I wouldn't mind if people came in and they had like some information I didn't have. Drop That'd a little tip on you. 
All right, we're going to toss out this. He has very, uh, what's that color scheme called where it changes? Pearlescent? Mm -hmm. Yeah, pearlescent, yeah. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right, all right. Chill out, brother. Would you ever get your car painted pearlescent? Yes, I'm going to get my Nissan Altima. No, like, would you ever get a car? You know, like, sometimes cars have that, and they look they look neat. Would you ever get a pearlescent paint job? Uh, uh I guess. I feel like it's a little gaudy. Um, I did, as a child, I definitely wanted it. I mean, not as a child, but when I was younger, I should say I wanted it because I thought it was cool and all the rappers were doing it. But, I mean, honestly, at this point in my life, I would, but at the same time, why? It probably is very expensive compared to regular paint, I guess. Oh, well, I'm, I'm, I assume that we were talking like money is no option type of issue. Oh, here. yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess so, yeah. Like somebody's like, hey, don't Ooh. die, dude. I don't have any more of those. Jeez, man. Why are these guys so trash? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I can't, can't make them be good. Let's see who's in here. Actually, okay, that's me. 500, 200, 100. He's the one I think that's been dying. And the three of us have actually gotten pretty far. And then there's the 300, 400 boy. Nice. So we, we got some decent levels. But of course, I don't know if he's actually using that or if he's got that covered. Where's this freaking guy? He's over. All right, that's it. I'm not, I'm not walking, dude. We're taking the car. Oh, wow. You got a... a <laughs> I've never shown you this. No. <laughs> so, yeah, these are the Raider Rides. These were added in Iceborne. And you can ride this little creature uh, to wherever the monster is. And it, then I can, like, buff. It just takes you? Yeah, yeah. And then I can, like, buff myself and <clears throat> I can sharpen my weapon up. Oh, so it so it like takes like the the driving. It's like an auto driver essentially. Yeah, yeah, dude. It's a, it's a little go kart. Oh, that's pretty cool. It is pretty. That actually, cool. it's really cool because then you can like like you said do other things instead oh, of yeah. like wasting time. And then to... you can jump off of it, and it gives you an increased chance to mount the monster, Jonas. And boy, yeah, I, mean, I know you, you love, love mount mountain monsters. I met this monster named Chad the other day, dude. He was. His name was just Chad. I'm sorry, is that a problem? Are you just mounting him? <laughs> You're just mounting Chad? I had to mount that monster. I've met a couple Chads. <laughs> I don't believe you. Police! You're right. I'm a liar. All I do is lie. <clears throat> All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Grandma likes it. Never mind. So, Jonas, not gonna get a cat. You're not gonna get a cat. Nobody's getting a cat. What about a pig, dude? Maybe we could get a co-pig? Um, pigs are pretty cool, honestly. Like, I hear that pigs are, like, some of the smartest animals, like, ever to exist <laughs> or something. Really? <laughs> like, they're, they're, they're smarter than, like, one would think, I think, is what it is. Like, <laughs> okay. I think they're, like, in the top ten of, like, most intelligent animals. Okay. Like, obviously, I think, like, apes and dolphins and dogs. I think they're smarter than dogs. I think they're like above dogs. Pigs? Let me just see. Let me look up who, the smartest animals while we have some time here. Yeah, we got time because I can't find the monster, dude. Yeah. I should just call my raider right. Where the hell did you smartest go? Smartest animals. What are the smartest world animals in the oh, world? Jonas, How do people see, know? See, Jonas, this is that's why I hate it when we go into the listening because then it turns into one of those channels where they do <laughs> that voice. Seven. <laughs> and I hate that, dude. It makes me cringe so well, hard. I mean, we have a lot of cringy content, dude. <laughs> I'm not the one. Do uh, maybe I am. Do I do it? Do I cringe? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, okay. God dang it. Uh, it says. Let's see. It doesn't oh, well, thank like you, a sir. This is popular science. They're not listed in... I imagine it goes most to least, but... Uh, chimpanzees? Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, goats? Really? Yeah. Uh, elephants? We can get a pet goat. Pet goat. Dolphins? Goats make good pets, do we? Crows? Crow yes, queen. Bees? Yes, queen. Bees. Octopuses? Octopi! Those are the, that's what's on the list. Let me see if I can find another. That's popular, Where the heck are dolphins? That's popular freaking... science. I would think that'd probably be pretty accurate. This is, okay, NBC News, top 10 smartest animals. Oh, well, yeah, that sounds... I'd definitely take their word over popular science. <laughs> right? 
Uh, hey, hey, look over here. Oh, there we go. What's this? Look what's at this? the wall. Oh, this is Reader's Digest. Well, I mean, you're just going like deeper and deeper into less credible news sources know, right? at this point, but that's fine. Yeah, I guess like rats would be really smart and crows. Yeah, that makes sense. Like Let's they definitely see. Let's have a habit. Like an act. What is like? What's oh, like a, don't let a, them a recognized uh, scientific thing? Uh, I don't know, like dude. A po like popular science, I wouldn't say is like all N that like. Nat Geo, what do you want from me? <gasps> Did I? I just dropped. Did you see that? He dropped, dude. He dropped. <laughs> people's elbow. The people's elbow, huh? <laughs> you dang skippy. Like, are you Give you me the rock you're coming in? Freaking nugget, like. man. Kill him. Die already. Where are you going? Why are you ru Why are you running? <laughs> why are you running, sir? Don't run from me. Yeah, I don't know. Where, where There's no... Oh, <laughs> National Geographic. There we go. That's a good one. Are they? I don't know, dude. They've been around forever. The four, C14 animals that have showed us their impressive smarts. I hate... I hate websites that you have to... <laughs> I hate websites. Yeah, man, That's this, basically the end. This segment is turning out great, Jonas, <laughs> man. No, I just hate websites this that, is like... A, this where is they're, like, segment. every uh, every number on the list, you have to, like, <laughs> load another page to get <laughs> to it instead of it, like, because they want to generate more ad revenue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a good segment, though, man. It's a long-A I'm, video, dude. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan. You're a fan? Of course you're a fan of our content, <laughs> dude. Fan. We're the only two subscribers we got. <laughs> hey, look. We're fighting a new monster like you're not, Joe. I can't help it if it takes forever, all right? It, it does take a long time. It does not, it does not absolve you of this having to provide... This would make me not play this game myself. What? Because the fights are, like, forever long, dude. <laughs> so I stopped playing Left 4 Dead 2 it took an hour to play forever. It wouldn't take forever. I beat this motherfucker the other day in, like, five... Or not the other day, this morning, like, in five minutes with a group, man. Of, like, actual people who, like, play the game and, like, have weapon setups that are good. People who are good, yeah. I mean, I'm in here hitting them. I'm yeah. putting I'm putting a hammer to them, all right? Are, do you put yourself I'm put in the good category? I'm putting the screws to him. Ooh, I put who, myself in the Bert, above. He's giving all those little explosions all over his neck. I put myself in the uh, uh, above average. Boom. When it comes to maybe like gameplay and maybe. No, I put myself in the average when it comes to gameplay. Probably like at the slight, slightly above the bell curve. Slightly above knowledge. I put myself like slightly above the bell curve. Yeah, I would say you're probably in the top like, like 25%. Or slightly below. You're top 25%. <laughs> Why aren't, Why don't you I, take some credit? Because I'm not going to do that. I know that I'm not you good. Under, you underthrow yourself completely. I know I'm not good. I'm better than I have been. Like, I've noticed an uptick in my ability, especially over, like, the last 700 hours I've played. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> over the last 700 hours, I've noticed I got a little bit better. <laughs> I would freaking <laughs> hope so. All right, uh, man. All on right. the next episode. All right. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, call your grandma and follow TNT Dynamite on Twitch. Do it. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every day. 9 o'clock a.m. Central. TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore crazy town at twitch.tv. Come and hang out with yeah, your boy. boy. <laughs> with your boy. Only got one ticket for you. Me? Right. 19 years. And for Jonas. TNT. <laughs> we are out. <laughs>